boss by his own business. worth a look. No doubt about it. This is where the hag will be. Better be careful not to trigger that thing. to step. Curious.
with haste. See their chances. Did you stay down, Vedra? Oh. No, stay down. Ah! You cost me a fresh young hat. I'm going to paint the wall with your guts, you little shit stain.
position. If I wanted my growth thing to paper, it wouldn't be you I'd call. Raided warships fought every beastie the sea can throw at you, and I've never flinched not once. But Ethel, Umberly's tits, she snapped her fingers and had me. I would have died for her, wanted to. Then you showed up, armed to the teeth. You could have killed me, been right to. But you didn't. You have an old captain's thanks. Knowing and doing are two different beasts. And one is a hell of a lot harder than the other. You're welcome in the maid. Anytime. The old girl is as much your home as she is mine. And I'll gut anyone who says otherwise. <laughs> Seems like a good moment to talk. Auntie has my baby! Where is he? Where is my baby? Have you seen Auntie? I need to find her before they come back. to put my hands on everything.
Go ahead. I'm listening. If you're here to complain that the booze tastes like piss, I know. Anything else? Uh, red cap? One of them pointy looking fuckers? You know, I thought I saw it. Ah! Magic tickles your senses. Someone or something has tampered with his memory. Sorry, mate. Only red near as my patrons' faces when they've had a few too many. Take it easy, yeah? Oi. And I didn't lift a finger to save her. It was like I was stuck in a fog. My mind addled from every direction. All I could hear was a voice telling me the captain was safe and well upstairs. <sighs> Gives me the willies just thinking about it. Captain said you're one of us now, so far as I'm concerned, you're part of the crew, mate. Welcome to the maid. Don't you dare puke on your uniform. You're here. Marina was looking for you. She says it's urgent. Rudy Marina wants to speak to you. Hurry! Hurry! She's dead, isn't she? Ethel is dead. doesn't fix anything, but damn, does it feel amazing. Thank you. A living child. That's what matters. Here. Call this a small thank you. I look forward to finally being able to sleep with both eyes shut. You killed the Auntie Ethel. You're amazing. 
Should you ever have a need of a cleric of Helm, I shall be there. You have my word. We'll start breaking heads. Good. I might get some sleep if I took a crack on the noggin. When it comes to magic protection, this is I'd really spare no expense. Everything is going to be all right. I promise. Mommy! That's... that's right. Mommy is here. Ah! Mother God's truly this petty. You brought her back. You brought back my sweet, sweet girl. It was everything. I'll never forget it. Here, a token from the pirate life I left behind. Thank you for being braver than half this city put together. You hungry, sweet girl? Mm -hmm. How about we bake something? You love bacon. Remember? Queen Vlakis. Squaw! You are a Sherlock. And still, you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Vos. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Vos lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule. Return to the Astral Prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barter Vlakith, Commander of Dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. Lazel's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlaketh. I gave you my faith, and you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing. You! I'm nothing! The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you.
Glad to see I'm not the only one on the wrong side of an omnipotent authority figure. Mazel did well to break free of Vlakith's manipulations, though I doubt Vlakith will let such insubordination go unpunished. So, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. been easy for Lazelle to stand up to Vlacketh like that. But there's nothing that woman can't do. We just played host to an undying queen. Oh, and that's without our fine silverware. Lazelle has courage turning her back on a lifetime's belief. As for us, best we stay out of interplanar politics, I think. Orpheus is on his own. But should Great Vlakith come to settle a score with Lizelle, well, <laughs> I might be convinced to kill her. Undying or not, she was very loud. Ah, ally mine, we are reunited once more. I was just regaling sweet Isabel with tales of our prowess. Very impressive. Thank you for helping Aelin. That wizard sounded absolutely dastardly. He did, and it came. Now, my friend, bask in your victory. I will do the same. My darling, we must inform our friend of our news. Indeed. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. They faced the Absolute's armies and come out battered and bruised. Aelin and I will go to them, provide what help we can. But fear not. When the time comes for you to face the foe of foes, Isabel and I will stand by your side. We wouldn't miss it. Not for anything. Go well, friend. We will see you soon. And with our great powers combined, this city will be saved. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the One in the Void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Blackith has upended Lazel's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, and new allies. Vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tremar Salar Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. 
Orpheus's will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. We hammer Orpheus free from his chains at our first chance. Orpheus Tafki Nazin. Vlakith's left hand and her right. Commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Vlakith won has a Bart to Vlakith been anointed. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. I can still feel the shadow fell all over me. Still hear her words in my ear. I feel... unclean. I hope that's true, but I'm not so sure. She has a far reach and a long memory. I have an idea, something I've wanted to do for a while, something that might help me put her in the past, but I'll need your help. Wait until the others are asleep, then come with me. There's a place we can go, down the coast a little. Vlakith's a fearsome one, the sort it's hard to say no to. But Lazel said it anyway, to her immense credit. She's choosing truth. She's choosing freedom. For her, for Orpheus, for the Githyanki people. <laughs> I wish I knew a good Githyanki cheer to celebrate the occasion, but... The only gift phrases I've picked up are the sweary sort. I should speak up. So, it seems that Vlakith is Lazel's queen no longer. That took no small amount of backbone. Hope you're keeping well, friend. will do. Get in the water. Come on. You're not afraid of getting a little wet, are you? until I was in the water to hold me. Come here. <laughs> <sighs> Just 
Thank you. I needed that. I needed to know I can face things without Shah. I don't want to go back. Not just yet. Now don't you dare stop. 